The gates of heaven opened when the chief rabbis of Israel did a prayer at the holiest place in the world. The rabbis led a special Yom Kippur Katan, which means small, service, referring to the custom of fasting and reciting slichot prayers on the eve of the new month, known as Rosh Chodesh. Explain why it's so important to have this energy to be at the Kotel and to really ask God for help on Rosh Chodesh. As, as I understood from one of the rabbis that I visited yesterday, uh, uh, a thing like that, a prayer like that happened only 50 years ago. Uh, that only shows us how important this this uh, this prayer is uh, to bring everybody here. Everybody means everybody. It doesn't matter if you're religious or not. Why, Tens of thousands of people came to the Western Wall Plaza to take part in the opportunity to pray for the safe return of the hostages held by Hamas terrorists and the IDF soldiers fighting the war in Gaza. And one thing I've noticed over the course of the month or so interview families is how much faith all of you have. Where does that come from? It's an inspiration to not just me, but the whole world. I think when you don't have uh, anything to do, because we can go to Gaza and bring Shlomi back. So what we have is God, is praying, is faith, and hope. Sunday, January 14th, will mark the 100th day that over 130 hostages have remained in captivity. I have uh, uh, one target. Uh, it's to bring my, my home, my daughter, and all the other 135 people back here to Israel to make sure they're okay, they're safe. And this is one big mission. I don't have time now to be either depressed or to lie in bed. We have to make actions. But we are a part of something very, very big. And I think we have a lesson to learn. And unfortunate, unfortunately, Shlomi is uh, one of the hostages there, and he needs to come back. But despite this prolonged nightmare, the sister of hostage Shlomi Svi and the mother of Romy Gonen know it in their bones that they're remaining strong. Oh, she's so positive. She has such an inner strength. She knows how to make fun of herself, which shows a lot of a person. And she has a lot of friends. She knows how to, you know, how to communicate with people. And I'm trusting, I'm counting on that, that she knows we are doing everything to make sure she will come back. I'm sure of that. What kind of big brother is he? He's a good conversation man. He talks with everyone. And with, a, with kids, he's a kid. And when grown-ups is a grown-up, a big brother. He is a big brother. And have unwavering faith that they will come home safely. The Jerusalem air. Um, you feel here all the together, the faith, the emunah. You can hear now they are praying and all of the people that are coming here to support us. Mirav Leshem Gonen refuses to let doubt and fear enter her soul and has a special message to everyone around the world on how to help turn the tides of fate. Hey, what is your message to them? Because so many are watching and wondering how to remain strong and not really being able to do anything so far away. Wow, they are able to do a lot of things. First, to, to uh, uh, you know, to hold the positivity. That's first. Second, to hold the faith and believe, but really believe that they will come back home. Uh, this is two things which, you know, it's, it's, it's a must. It's, it's, you know, you're waking up, waking up in the morning. That's what you have to do. And then explain, explain. It's not about Israel's and Palestinian. It's about good and bad. It's about good and evil. Sorry, it's about life. Light and, and darkness, and we are part of a light. At the Western Wall in Jerusalem, Emily Francis, I-24 News.